So someone asked me the other day, Proudy, surely you cannot be this bad at the game. And I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, that's why the title of this series is attempting not to get sacked. Because while other people are trying to win trophies in Fort Major, I'm trying to keep a job. So we start off this episode with some very, very sad news that Ben Mee is out for eight weeks with a lower back stress fracture. So after our heroic 4-1 win over Swansea City away from home, I had three players in Team of the Week, Tom Heaton, Jason Shackle and Maradona. Yes, that is Rian Morris' nickname, Maradona. And if you complain, Proudy, that is such a shit nickname for a player of his quality. Well, at least I didn't name him something like... These nuts. Exactly. To whoever suggested that I sign Colo Torre for my Burnley team, just look at the screenshot. He got sent off on his debut for Blackburn after 15 minutes and his team lost 5-0 at Old Trafford. I think I dodged a bullet there. But that is a fantastic headline from Football Manager once again. So our first game of the episode is at home to Stoke City and I don't think we've actually conceded a goal to them, uh, let alone lose to them. Uh, so we might as well keep up the good run. When people ask me, Chris, who would you have in a five-side team? And I always say, you would never, never, never forget the world-class centre-back himself, Carl Jenkinson. I hope this really isn't setting the tone for the rest of the episode. See, the thing is, it's only two games into the season, but I cannot drop points in my title challenge, can I? And now Tom Ince opens his account on his debut, and I am a mastermind in the transfer market at the moment. I do feel sorry for the Burnley fans. I mean, it must be so difficult spending their hard-earned benefits to see me play for a 1-0 win. See, look at that. I'm joined top. I know it's two games. It's two games, but I'm still joined top of the Premier League table. Wait, Liverpool are overachieving there, aren't they? Whatever Manchester United could do, Tottenham could do better. And whatever Tottenham could do, Chelsea could do better. And whatever Chelsea could do, Burnley can do better. Chris, you're not funny. Was one of the many things my ex-girlfriend told me. Although, for some reason, I did make a laugh when I undressed. Look, even Stevie Wonder can see that that is not going to happen. Nope, 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 nope. I've had enough. Nope. Fuck this game. This game is absolute bullshit. Sometimes I think Miles Jacobson just puts in new features to, you know, fuck me over. So, what ideas have we got for FM16? How about better training methods? That is a shit idea. What else have we got? How about we change the player interaction? No, that is another shit idea. But I've got it. How about we add in more injuries to fuck Proudy over? <laughs> <laughs> well, that got a bit weird. So here we go, Northampton Town at home. I've basically switched around the whole team. Uh, I've played the reserve squad, so I meant I've got Danny Judas. I mean Danny Ings playing up front. Uh, George Boyd. I've got uh, Michael Kitely playing. So yeah, it's uh, you know it's, it's still a strong team to be fair. It's Kitely. It's one nil, and we are definitely going to win this cup now. Oh, fantastic. So, you know, referee, I don't need penalties to beat League 2 teams. But Leroy first scores his first goal for Burnley from the penalty spot. You know, I've just realised the recording software has missed out the third goal, but who gives a shit because it's only Northampton Town. Oh, wow, Proudy, you must be a legend to get penalties against a team three divisions below you. Oh, yeah, and just to let you know, he was also sent off. Thank you very, very much. Christ, no wonder I'm single. If I was to sum up their performance in three words, I would say that was fucking easy. Oh, nice to see Ports of doing well against the team that I sort of have an affiliation to. Oh, fuck. But we do have time for one last game, and it's Man City away, and it's the battle for the top four. Um, it's the only way to really put it. Oh, great. I don't really like what's going on here. I've seen better defences of the Channel Tunnel than this. Oh, Chris Proud doing the edgy banter again. It's 4 0. It's 4 0. Fuck this. No, no, no. Whatever, whatever. No, had enough. Disappointed to be losing like this. I'm not disappointed. I'm fucking enraged. Okay, so Tom Inns has pulled a goal back. What the hell? Why are we suddenly playing when we're 4 0 down? Okay, so apparently we won the second half, but that doesn't mean anything, does it? See, Maradona wins goal of the month in his first month as a Burnley player. It's just a fantastic signing. And I also signed a massive player on deadline, Dane. And his name is... Oh, 
Shola Rami Obi. Are you serious, Chris? That's the only signing you made on deadline day. Okay, I signed Angelo Henriquez as well for 5.25 million. Happy? Looking back on where we first met. 